Hello everybody, my name is Richard Wick and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be continuing from the last video in which there were 16 advancements and now we have 15 left because I'm getting the light as a rabbit and um, well the, the, the hunt is starting. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get them all. That's what these next few episodes are going to be about is the, the long journey of getting all of them which is also going to carry over into the 1.18, not this episode, it'll just be in the future. But the main focus on the next few videos are going to be the advancement hunting. I was trying to get the um, uneasy alliance and to do that you should make a nether portal and when making another portal you want to just you know try and like try and do a fishing pole and get them in there but um, there was there like there is an issue where like no mobs was spawning and that's important later of why but that's you know I, I at least attempted it and I just want to point it out. Vortex, where did you log? Barry said he needed help with a few pillagers, so I went over to his base. Uh, jeez, why is there just so many? So I was able to help him out, but I was, you know, this this is this is definitely a huge amount of pillagers that I'm way more than used to. But okay. All right, so I'm gonna put some more stuff I mean, I that have, looks like, like... hitboxes turned on. You're just like a mess of hitboxes. He's a porcupine. <laughs> I'm gonna actually blame my Christmas hat on you <laughs> I'm a porcupine. You may in fact Whoa. have more doors. <laughs> but my doors are better. Crafty had to leave, so I came back with you guys. It was lonely. Uh, yeah, don't worry. You, you came at the perfect time because, um... <laughs> Vortex, Vortex foolishly... He, he, foolishly challenged he me to a door off. my doors. <laughs> he challenged you to a what? A door off. What happens in a door off? Oh, look at me! Oh, I haven't seen, seen a door, door off. off. You're not ready for a door off. You haven't seen a door off yet. Oh God! <laughs> you have to ask what a door off is. You're not ready for it. But um, you said there were shulkers in the Nether. Did no, someone no. said there were shulkers in the Nether. I mean, yeah, there's shulkers in the Nether, but how many? Oh, could it be they the, could it be the, the mob cap? Well, no, the but... shulker farm shouldn't be that shouldn't be going that hard. Well, I know, but shulkers contribute to the mob cap. I, I know. So if there were shulkers in the nether, oh my, then no mobs would spawn, right? Mm. Or if there was enough shulkers in the nether. Uh -oh. But there surely isn't that many. Wait, doesn't E stand for entity on the thing? In the F3 key? Yeah. yeah. It says there's two. Alright, so because of the complicated spawning problem issue that is in the nether, I decided that I'm going to move on from trying to get the uh, Uneasy Alliance to um, Balanced Diet, so I'm going to be working on that. So I have this complicated list, only I generally can know how to read it, so it just has all the food types on one page, and I can cross them off as I eat them. Hey, do, <laughs> does anyone have a um, chorus root? Uh, yes, there should be some at my starter house, um, but I, in fact, need to go make dinner, so I will be talking to you guys later. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make this whole door off thing its own game. <laughs> okay, I need to clamp my like, doors. I wanted to make like, a trading card game in Omatha since last season. Hello there. Oh, yes. Oh, I didn't expect you to already be here. I already found it, and I already ate it. That was at night. That's why we've had so many nights. We've spent like 60 minutes playing. You already eaten glowberries? <laughs> Door game. <laughs> the reason I didn't go through the list normally is because I have the. Like, you'll notice that there's some numbers, and that's because on this list I made, I have at this point, there's. 37 out of 40 uh, food items eaten, but there's clearly way more than three things on the list. So I'm numbering the ones that I think I haven't eaten, and it helps me go through the list faster. That way I don't have to consistently, just constantly just look through everything. So one of the last items uh, was the, the honey. I went to spawn because apparently there's this honey farm. And I knew that it was there, so eventually I just went through it, ate some honey. I went back on the list, so now there are, we can take a peek, there's only two more left on the balanced diet. And as far as what I predict they are, because like I said, the list, if I have them numbered, um, 
the last ones I think I have are the Enchanted Golden Apple and the Rabbit Stew. This last one, however, was quite the adventure. Uh... Hey, Cal. Yeah? Odd, odd request. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, you mind if I go over to your base? And I just need your... In base and starter base. Your starter base, the one with the enchanted golden apple in one of your chests. And I just need to drop it on the floor and pick it up. And that would get you closer to enchantment? Or advancement, sorry? Uh, yes. As long as they don't need it. The reason I need to drop it on the floor is because in the statistics page, you can look at the items, and basically I have to go through my items list and look for Enchanted Golden Apple. You can tell that I dropped the item twice, because when you drop something, if everything's all zeros, it won't it, it won't come on your statistics page. So what I needed to do was do something with the item, and dropped it twice, and I noticed that the items used was zero. So that tells me that the last item I need to eat is an Enchanted Golden Apple. Since that apple is Cal's, I can't eat it. He wants it, so I'm just going to let him have it. You know, I'm not going to eat it on him because it is his apple. But I need to find a way to find my own Enchanted Golden Apple. So I simply Googled up Enchanted Golden Apple, where to find them, and their percentages, and this is what I found. All right, obtaining... I can get them from dungeons, mine shafts, bastion remnants, desert temples, ruined portals, woodland mansions. So, okay, and this is what I meant. Um, in a dungeon, it's a 3.1% chance. In a mine shaft, it's 1.4. In a bastion, it's 6.5. In a desert temple, it's 2.6. In a ruined portal, it is 1.5. In a woodland mansion, it's 3.1. So it looks like my best bet is the bastion remnants. I haven't seen a Bastion yet. Well, most of the Bastions you know, on the server currently have already been raided. Well, not the way I do it. Remember the last time I went to a Bastion, I needed your help. <laughs> we did it together. Yeah. But like you've seen the way I fly in the nether, and as, unless somebody else has those bizarre, my flying tricks are a little bit different. <laughs> Clearly. Wait, hold on. I still need regular. Doors. And with what I was telling Cal, um, rolls. so like you can tell, uh, when you're loading new chunks when the uh the lava falling. When you see the lava falling, like right there, you can see at the bottom. That's how you can tell when you're loading new chunks. And I told Cal. I'm loading new chunks. <laughs> and there's another fortress. <laughs> I don't need fortresses. Looking for bastions. Oh, there's one. Now, I don't do these very often, so you can only guess how my experience went when trying to <gasps> okay. figure out how to it's do good. this. Ah. Uh. Oh, jeez, no. What happened? Did I'm gonna die. Go? I have a totem. Yeah. I forgot, I have a totem, I'm fine. Yeah, I've died and lost everything in the nether that way. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Jeez! I'm about to lose my fire resistance. I just lost it. Okay. Okay, so I definitely know this is dangerous. Holding on another totem. Another technique you can do, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it though, is uh, if you have them in, um, <laughs> you can dig two blocks down and then have them fall in that hole. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh. I found a pig step. I thought I found it. It was just a normal golden apple. Ooh, this is going to be a really hard fall. <gasps> Thank goodness I checked. If I had my elytra on, this fall definitely would have killed me. <laughs> Allows me to really look around and get a good uh, sleuthin'. And I got one. Dude. What happened? We got him. Nice, nice. Mmm. Yes. Get in there mm. and get in there. There you go. Yeah, you have the advancement now. And then okay, put it back. Um, what about the honey part? Gotcha covered. I, I. Oh no! Oh no! Need a flower. Need a flower. I, I, not, I, I, the honey part that I meant is I, I, I need a, a, a I know, I know. Okay. Just get back in, get back in. I, I, I got you covered. Did you close uh, the doors? Literally, okay. Literally the only color on the first really silo of wool right. that I don't have three double chests of is the high end wool. Oh. Oh my goodness! They, they didn't get mad at me. I thought they were just gonna. That's because the campfires. I know, but like no, I the I bees out here, I thought the bees out here would just see me do it and get really angry. Nah, nah. The imagine, ha, imagine me angry. using a totem because of bee stings. That'd Should be I get like the rest a... of those bottles back. Oh yeah. Um. Just toss them in the doors. I'll pick them up. Uh, the healing power of friendship, zombie doctor. And Enchanter. Oh, you need Zombie Doctor? Yeah. Give me a second. That one's honestly the funniest. Right. Ow. Okay, so with the full with my netherite armor currently with the helmet on, it does two and a half parts per hit. I wouldn't have him hit me. I have thorns. He'll be dead. I mean, yeah, that's a given. Why do you think I'm the one doing this? Oh, want me to do it naked? No. You would die! He can't hurt that much. Okay, go ahead, try. Oh, he hurts! <laughs> I told you! I freaking told you! <laughs> that was like seven. I should give him my sword. No. D do you want to lose your sword? <laughs> this one. Now that he's in there, you break the cart. There we go, he's stuck. Break all this. I don't have an axe. <laughs> that's that's good news. Now the real question is, do I have a golden apple weakness potion? Uh, oh! Oh my goodness! Dude! I didn't see him. He's out! Okay, gotta make sure this thing is sealed up first. I'm really sorry about the casualties I have almost committed. Almost. My, my land is a pretty big casualty. <laughs> I'm still trying to recover. Splash him, then... Hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him? Feed him. You hit him. I want to cool. feed him. Oh, that actually scared me. I heard a sound, and like I felt it in my heart. And now you have Vincent's discount. It it made me it made me quiver. And that's a wrap. That's all we have time for in this episode. I hope you guys very much enjoyed. We have ten advancements left, and we'll see how it goes as the journey continues. So thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado, 